Situated in the heart of the Selva Maya forest, Belize's wealth untold encompasses an incomparable rich and diverse forest and marine ecosystems that have sustained the livelihoods of all Belizeans. 60% of our country's landmass is forested, and Belize can boast for having the highest forest cover in the region. Internationally, Belize is also recognized as a carbon net sink. Belize is endowed with vast tropical forests that are also habitat to unique biodiversity of global significance. Our economy is tightly linked to its natural resources and the growth of industries such as agriculture, fisheries and tourism industries, which are hinged on the overall health of natural resources. As a leader in the management and protection of the natural capital, Belize has signed on to the Bond Challenge, which is a global initiative to bring 350 million hectares into restoration by 2030. In Belize, we have pledged to restore 130,000 hectares for the period 2020 to 2030. We commit to implement reforestation practices for 44,000 hectares in forest areas inside and outside protected areas. We will restore 6,000 hectares of degraded and deforested riparian forests and we will also improve the management of 80,000 hectares of the agro landscape through improved agricultural and agroforestry practices. In addition to restoring degraded areas, we are also committed to prevent further degradation by combating wildfires, implementing the land use policy to promote better land management, and promoting creation of corridors that involve multiple partners including the agriculture sector. At home, our forest provides us with fresh air, clean drinking water and food. All this, however, is at risk. Rapid deforestation and excess clearing of large tracts of land pose a serious threat to our biodiversity. The time for action is now. The Belize Forest Department, along with its partners, has undertaken several initiatives to improve the functionality of our landscapes by minimizing the effects of deforestation and enhancing our adaption to climate change. Although the replanting of trees has been a key strategy to restore degraded areas, other initiative approaches such as beekeeping, agroforestry, agro-silver pastoral systems, agroecology, integrated farming systems, and the sustainable forest management have also been implemented in Belize as a direct response to the land use change. Belize's history tells us that timber harvesting has been an integral part of our country's economy and development. The trees are important for our existence and these can be sustainably harvested. The Sustainable Forest Management Program at the Forest Department ensures that the proper harvesting procedures are adhered to. We also do the collection of data for the, from the primary sample plots and these provide a credible source of carbon stock data for the long-term management of Belize's forests. The local community, including the women's groups and indigenous groups, have been frontline partners in the sustainable use of our forests. Since 1999, the Sarson Timash Institute for Indigenous Management, SATIM, has been working with buffer communities of the Sarson Timash National Park and has been supporting the community stewardship and forest governance processes. The Rashmu Kiche, the community-based forestry enterprise in a community of Koneho Creek Village, is a remarkable example that demonstrates how communities can be able to sustainable harvest their timber forest, timber trees from their community forest based on their traditional knowledge and practices. This registered community-based forestry group has been now exporting timber trees and also providing, so supporting the, uh, their community based on their economic benefits in their community. 
The country of Belize was the first Caribbean country to be a signatory to the United Nations Leaders' Pledge, thereby committing to reversing biodiversity loss by 2030. This historic signing paves the way for the implementation of projects that will seek to reduce ecosystem degradation and promote sustainable development. The Forest Department views with much concern the rapid rate of deforestation of our forests and we are committed to enact and enforce policies that seek to mitigate the harmful effects of ecosystem degradation. The collective work of the government of Belize, the conservation non-governmental organizations, our local communities and our bilateral partners have allowed us to address the levels of forest loss while at the same time encouraging sustainable development that will benefit our citizens, the region and by extension the world. The future of our wealth untold depends on how well we can harmonize our efforts to improve our ecological resilience. Our forest is our future and the restoration of our forest is the solution to achieve the future we want for all Belizeans.